Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are starting the AP Calculus AB 2010 for response questions. So let's take a look as these go through. Now I just realized I have not set up my calculator. So why don't I get a graphing calculator going, because I'll need a graphing calculator for this portion of the exam. Let's shrink this down. So it's something manageable and we can see on the screen and I'll just kind of have it here if I need it when I want this to set up. Okay, so let's start. There's no snow on Janet's driveway when the snow begins to fall at midnight. From 9 a.m., snow accumulates in the driveway at a rate modeled by blah, uh, cubic feet per hour where T is measured an hour since midnight. I'm noticing a pattern. These first questions are almost always a, some kind of rate question with some integral here. Or, or some function, where T is measured in hours of night. Janice starts removing snow at 6 a.m. The rate G of T of cubic feet per hour, which Janet removes the snow from the driveway, is given by this. So this is the rate she's, see, it's zero here, because she's sleeping here between midnight and 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is to equal 6. She removes it for an hour, and then two hours, she kind of slows down a little bit. So she's got a lot of energy the first hour, the next two hours is rough. How many cubic feet, cubic feet of snow have accumulated in the driveway by 6 a.m.? Okay, so let me um, get this up so I'm not making sure I'm covering everything. So for A, I want to do the integral. Uh, the accumulation is f of t by 6 a.m. Um, we're going to go from midnight to 6 a.m., I believe, dt. 0 to 6, um, 7t e to the cosine t, dt. Now use your favorite calculator program to do this one. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to say f of x is equal to 7x e to the cosine x. Okay. What is this? Create slider? I don't want a slider. f equals 7x e to the cosine x. Is this not a graphing calculator, graphing section? What is this from? Please check my input. Do function notation. Okay. Don't, I thought this was working before. What's going on? Weird. What's working? Okay, f of x equals 7xe to the cosine x. Doesn't like my times. Okay. It didn't like I wasn't multiplying. I was just putting the letters next to each other. Okay, so now I want to compute the integral of f between 0 and 6, 142.3 cubic feet. Okay, find the rate of change in the volume of the snow of the driveway at 8 a.m. Rate of change in the volume of snow. So first of all, the amount of snow is given by f of t minus um, g of t. This is the rate. Oh, th this is the rate. It's the rate adding min minus the rate that is leaving. This is the rate that it's accumulating. So the rate of change is this is how much is adding, this is how much is taking away. At 8 a.m., so we use our calculator again. I'm going to do f of 8 minus. Uh, G of 8 is 108. So we're removing snow at 59.58 cubic feet. Okay, so I would say snow is being removed at a rate of, I didn't say explain it, snow is being removed, Ugh. removed this rate right so I'm losing oh if this is cubic feet per hour cubic feet per hour okay cool 
Why is it per hour? It's because t is in hours. So it's cubic feet, the change in volume versus the change in time. Time I did in hours, so cubic feet per hour. OK. Um, let h of t represent the total amount of snow in cubic feet that Jane has removed from the driveway at time t hours at midnight. Express h as a piecewise defined function with domain 0 to 9. OK, so h of t is simply the integral from 0 to t of g of x dx because what, what we're going to do is we're going to accumulate we're going to say she's she's been removing this at a constant rate so um between zero and six she's she hasn't removed any snow so it's definitely zero less than six once we get to six less than t is less than seven then we can start doing the integral of this which is just 125 t Okay, because this is the rate. So between, I'm going to say t minus 6. Because at 6 hours, she's um, not not removed any snow. At, at 6 a.m., she's just started, so she hasn't removed any snow. By 7, she's removed 1 hour's worth of snow, which is under 125. Because this is 125 cubic feet per hour. And then here, it's going to be 108 t minus 7. I do the t minus 7 because this is the rate. I want it to be this rate. But um, you see, the first hour, she's already removed 125. So I'm going to add 125 for 7 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 9. So this is a trick for creating linear functions. Is like Because I know when I expand this out, this will be a line. And it has a slope of 108. So the derivative of this is 108. right? So it definitely meets that requirement. And I just need to know it meets the boundary conditions. That is, at 7, I need to be exactly um, whatever this amount was, which is 125. So when I plug in 7, I get 125. So it knows the slope. I have a point. That would be enough. Okay. D, how many cubic feet of snow in the driveway at 9 a.m.? Well, i got to integrate the rate 0 to 8, or 9 a.m., sorry, 0 to 9 of f of t minus g of t. Now f of t is continuous this whole time. g of t, I kind of have to subtract out. Well, I, I, I calculated that the integral, the rate would be, um, well, first let's do the integral of this. 0 to 9 f of t dt minus, um, minus uh, how much was taken away, right? This is how much has been added by the snow, and how much was taken away, I solved in C, which would be 108 times 9 minus 7 is 2, plus 125. So this portion is what I found in C. I just plug in t equals 9. This is how much snow is removed, and this is how much snow is accumulated, kind of like we did in part A, right? So let's do this on our calculator, trusty calculator. Where are you? I'm going to pull it over here so I can do it. So I'm going to do the integral of f between 0 and 9 minus 108 times 2 minus or plus 125. 26.33 cubic feet. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our, how we did on the, the answers here. 142.3, I mean, I should have done three decimal places, I forgot. Um, that looks correct. C, 125t minus 6, 108t minus 7 plus 125, and 26.3343535. Okay, so perfect. Um, hope you guys found that helpful. It's a standard rate question. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.